What's up guys? I'm back with another one and today we're going to be checking out the Elijah Isham designed Best Tech Reticulant. Now I was fortunate enough to be able to get both of these guys in at the same time, the large and the small, thanks to Best Tech Knives of course. So as usual, I'm going to put a link to their website in the description. Definitely go check them out. I mean, these knives right here are really cool. Actually, I'm a huge fan of Elijah Isham, but I haven't really had much of his stuff on the channel here lately. It's kind of weird. You know, I love to see his designs, and I think his ergos are so far out there that they actually work. And, you know, I just love seeing his designs. But anyway, the lines on these things are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it doesn't look like the most practical knife. But I gotta hand it to him. There's a lot of things on this knife that I really, really like. And of course, it's made by Best Tech, so the build quality is gonna be on point. Now, both of these guys are made from the exact same materials. The only real difference is, of course, the specs. <laughs> Isn't this little guy cute? But this one does have a stonewashed blade with some anodization on the handle. And this guy has a satin blade with the raw titanium look. You know, I love the sterile look. It just, I don't know, it's really appealing to me. And you can just kind of see all the lines it has. Anyway, satin worn clip blade made from S35EN steel. Both titanium frame lock designs. They're both running on bearings with titanium hardware and a titanium tip-up right-hand carry only pocket clip. Both, of course, are manual flippers and have really nice solid action. The detent on this thing is really nice and dialed in. And from flip to grip, I gotta say, this thing falls out perfectly in your hands, right on the choil. I mean, in the spidey flick, of course. Now, if you flip it from here, it's a little bit different. You do have to reposition. But from right here, everything lines up perfectly. Another cool feature about these guys is their complete superiority over cardboard. Even this little guy right here held his own, and I think this would make an excellent office carry. I mean, that's not a bad looking knife at all, and you're not going to freak anybody out if you pull it out. Now, you can see this thing absolutely annihilated this stuff. I must have made over 500 cuts, and the only real hang-up I was having is whenever I would start on the choil. Of course, it's dull, and it's not going to cut everything, so that was obviously user error. But just to test the sharpness after doing all that, I put it up against this plastic styrofoam, which a regular blade that's dull is not going to penetrate. And, of course, I did a few precision cuts on it just to make sure it was all good. But the S35VN held up nice, and I got to hand it to them. I'm really digging this design especially how it feels you know if i would saw at something like say the blade was up to here in it then the choil would hang up but if you could keep it down here this thing's going to slice really really nicely now the overall length on this guy is 7.75 inches the blade 3.25 cutting edge 2.75 with a width of one inch now the thickness is 0 0.12 handle length 4.50 width one inch thickness 0 0.55 and let's get an accurate weight on this bad boy 0.5. oh gotta change the units 3.565 which really is not bad at all i mean this thing is solid let's get a weight on the little guy too little guy is 1.210 which is hardly nothing the overall length on this guy though is 5 inches, blade 2, edge 1.75, width 0 0.625, and thickness it says 0 0.12, so it's the same blade thickness as this guy, just in a much smaller package. Handle length 2.875, width 0 0.75, thickness 0 0.375, and of course the weight is 1.210, almost forgot it. Anyway. We will compare these bad boys to, let's go ahead and do this one first. We'll throw in the bug out, which everybody knows. Roughly around a little over a quarter inch bigger than the bug out compared to the Asher Spiro, which I absolutely love that knife. It's yeah, about three quarters of an inch shorter than that compared to the ZT0450CF. Uh, right around a quarter inch larger than that. And we will go ahead and move him down. Throw this guy in for good luck. <laughs> you can see, of course, he is much smaller than any of them. And yeah, it's just an office carry in my opinion. You know, the cool thing about it is it does come with this really cool Tidex neck sheath, which that's not your average little ball chain. This is 
kind of like a uh, chain chain, but on a much smaller scale, of course. Love that little thing, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I'm having a giveaway as soon as possible, probably Monday, something like that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed Blade Show for the ones that went. Of course, I didn't get to make it. I was on vacation, but hey, there's always next year. Stay safe. See you guys on the next one.